Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to join me in celebrating a phenomenal engineer that has, great, that has made and is still making great commitments to building a better and sustainable future. A woman who can be termed as first among equals, the first female president of the great and honorable the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Engineer Margaret Aino Oguntala, FNSC, the 34th president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Please keep clapping for her as she comes up for her opening address. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Much as I'd like to rely on the very well-established protocols, I'd like to recognize new people. And that will be recognizing the past. I represent the present. We have somebody here representing the past. And we have somebody representing the future of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Permit me, therefore, to recognize the Deputy President of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Engineer Ali Ali Masui Arabi, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, fellow Nigerian Academy of Engineering, and member of the Order of the Federal Republic. And in recognizing one of my predecessors, one of my mentors, I'd like to rep recognize Engineer Kashim Abdul Ali, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, fellow Nigerian Academy of Engineering, MNI. And with that, I'll just say welcome everybody, very distinguished guests, speakers, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. At its 40th General Assembly in 2019, UNESCO recognized the importance of engineering to humanity. And in response to a proposition from the World Federation of Engineering Organizations, WFEO, declared March 4th of every year as World Engineering Day for Sustainable Development. The first observance of this day took place on March 4, 2020. And today, we are here to participate in this worldwide event because it takes place, it's taking place simultaneously in every nation of the world. And therefore, I, on behalf of the esteemed council and entire membership of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, extend a very warm, warm welcome to our distinguished guests, esteemed colleagues, and fellow engineers as we commemorate this year's World Engineering Day. It is a privilege to stand before you on this occasion, which is dedicated to honoring the indelible contributions of engineers worldwide and exploring innovative solutions to global challenges. First and foremost, I express my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed keynote speaker, the Honorable Minister of Works, His Excellency, Engineer David Umahi, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, and our esteemed invited guests, speakers from all over the world. Particularly, I'd like to recognize and extend my gratitude to engineer Professor Abubakar S. Sambo, FNSC, FAS, OON, engineer Ikotsun Adewale, FNSC, Alice Radley from the United Kingdom, and Fatoju Kadabo from the Gambia. Your presence here today underscores the significance of this event, and I am deeply appreciative of your unwavering commitment to the engineering profession. Today marks a very special day in the global engineering calendar designated for sustainable development. It is a day to acknowledge the pivotal role of engineering in addressing global, pressing global challenges and driving sustainable development initiatives. Together with engineers worldwide, 
we celebrate our collective contributions to building a better and more sustainable world. As we celebrate this auspicious occasion, let us pay some time to reflect on the visionaries who laid the foundation for the Nigerian Society of Engineers 66 years ago. Their bold vision and unwavering dedication have paved the way for us to advance engineering excellence in Nigeria. And today, we pay homage to their enduring legacy and reaffirm our commitment to upholding the highest standards of our noble profession. I'd like everyone here to please give a very warm round of applause to all the founders and past leaders of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, on whose shoulder we stand. Engineering excellence has long been a catalyst for transformative change, shaping the course of human history and enabling progress on a global scale. From the construction of vital infrastructure to the development of life-saving technologies, engineers have been at the forefront of innovation, driving positive change and improving lives. In Nigeria, the NAC stands as a beacon of excellence, empowering engineers to tackle complex challenges and drive sustainable development across the nation. With 86 branches cutting across Nigeria and the diaspora, and 26 divisions cutting across various engineering disciplines, the NSC continues to lead the charge in fostering innovation and driving progress in the engineering field. The theme of this year's World Engineering Day is Engineering Solutions for a Sustainable World. This theme resonates deeply with the current global landscape, highlighting the urgent need for innovative engineering solutions to address pressing sustainability challenges. I am confident that our esteemed speakers will provide valuable insights and perspectives during today's discussions, inspiring us to take bold action and drive positive change in our communities and beyond. Today, we also launched the Specialized Skills Training for Young Engineers, a groundbreaking initiative aimed at nurturing the next generation of engineering talent. In collaboration with the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, this year-long program will equip young engineers across Nigeria with the specialized skills and knowledge needed to thrive into this rapidly evolving landscape. By starting with a course on cybersecurity and ethical hacking, we are preparing our young engineers to navigate the complexities of the digital age and contribute meaningfully to our nation's development. Furthermore, NSC is engaging with other training partners to undertake hands-on courses on biodigester design, biogas production, waste management, solar cells, and solar panel development. We will be performing a symbolic unveiling of the program as well as the Engineering Innovations Exhibition after the keynote address by the Honorable Minister of Works, our own engineer David Umahi, FNSE. In closing, I extend my heartfelt appreciation to each and every one of you for your unwavering support and dedication to the engineering profession. I also acknowledge the role of Nigerian engineers in making the NSC a veritable platform for true professional development for engineers and by implication, the vehicle for driving technological advance for our country, Nigeria. Let us use this opportunity to inspire and empower the next generation of engineers, driving positive change and creating a sustainable future for all. As Henry Petrosky, the renowned engineer and author, once said, engineering is more than just a profession. It is a way of solving problems and making the world a better place. And I say that engineering is life. Indeed, it is life itself. Together, let us therefore continue to innovate, collaborate, and engineer a sustainable future for generations to come. Long live the engineering profession. And at this point, I want to say cheers. Again, I said it earlier in, 
in NTA today. Cheers to all the engineers in the world. And cheers to Nigerian engineers. Congratulations to all of us. Long live the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs>